Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the third module of uh, BDA, what are the super important questions and uh, what are the questions uh, which are most uh, expected uh, in, from the external point of view. So I will be uh, telling you how to remember these answers and what are the simple tricks and uh, key points you need to mention in the exam to expect full marks from this module and this uh, document link can be found in the description box. Okay. So before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support helps me make more videos like this. So let's get started. The first one is what is NoSQL database? Mention its characteristics. Okay, NoSQL means there is no specific format for a uh, uh, SQL. Okay, it's like that. Okay, no, um, not only SQL. So uh, what do you mean by not only SQL means it can have uh, various formats uh, which can be uh, stored in that like um, that can increase the flexibility and scalability like more various data will uh, be stored in the same place means you will be uh, able to um, expand your database within the same thing right so what are the key points you have to write is no SQL database is a, a new approach for thinking about the databases such as uh, schema flexibility simple relationship dynamic schemas auto sharding replication integrated caching horizontal scalability distributed semi-structures flexibility and approach all of these key points are uh, being discussed as separate questions in the upcoming topics okay so make sure you all you know uh, this co concept very well because these are the key points they will be searching for in the answer okay after you have written this much means the definition point you have to write what the characteristics in the characteristics there are as follows the uh, different uh, things that use NoSQL that is uh, getting mentioned here like for example Amazon S3 and CouchDB and uh, Peanuts and uh, MongoDB and Graph Store, Object Store and all these are the things which are using the NoSQL database. You will uh, learn about these things in the upcoming uh, topics and uh, that was the first uh, key point. After that uh, what we have is the original characteristics okay for that what you have to remember is FLFIJRTP. How to remember this? Fluffy Junior Thanked Police. Okay, Fluffy Junior Thanked Police. FL means what? Flexible. And um, see somewhere here it was, yeah. The NoSQL database is a flexible data model. Okay, and FI is nothing but fixed. NoSQL does not necessarily has a fixed schema. It does not have a fixed schema. It is flexible. JR means join and uh, replication. It does not use the concept of join. Data written at one node can be replicated to another node. R for replication. T for fault tolerant. Data storage stall tolerant. And uh, P is partition into unshared shards. This is a very simple format. FLFI JRTP. Fluffy Junior. Thank police. The next question we have what is uh, key value store super super important question in key value store what we have is the keys will be present and we'll be having some values okay we have to map these keys into the uh, corresponding values this type of storage is called as key value store okay and um, a few key points are that you can go through tutorials you can write in your own words and this is the diagram which you have to make here you have to uh, depict some keys and here you have to depict some values and the keys will be corresponding to some particular values for example in our uh, example uh, given here we have ashish which is the key and the value is nothing but the information about ashish like what is the category student what is the class btech what is the semester 7 branch is engineering and mobile number is also given same goes for mayuri as well these are the keys by using these keys we can fetch the corresponding values okay so in this way you have to uh, represent it next we have the advantages and disadvantages this is super important so I am uh, telling you a shortcut in which you can remember the advantages and the disadvantages okay so uh, in the advantages what you have is a securely encrypted home okay a securely encrypted home can save robbery property and liability successfully and this might look very complex but repeat with me a securely encrypted home a securely encrypted home can save robbery property liability successfully if you remember this much you can easily write these things otherwise you have to spend 15 20 minutes memorizing these things like a stupid person so how do you relate this first was what uh, let me write a s yes, and a secured encrypted home can save robbery property liability successfully instead of um, memorizing this whole sentence as here just memorize these letters here that too with a sentence simple sentence okay so a is what data store can store any type of data it can store any type of data in the field value s is what s means it returns a single item whenever you fetch a key it returns a single item e is what uh, eventually consistent the key value store is eventually consistent it does not make changes in between h is it stores hierarchical order just remember hierarchy that's enough 
then uh, C means it can be converted to list table and column. The key value store can be converted to list tables and columns. S is uh, nothing but scalability, reliability, portability, low operational cost. Finally, we have the key can be synthetic. That's all. Synthetic means auto generated. It can be generated automatically. So that was about the advantages. The disadvantages means you have to um, keep this uh, keyword in mind. NI, which is National Instruments, is a company. It uh, put acid on useless instrument. Useless instrument was a stupid company. It was making some instruments which were very useless. So this company thought of to destroy the stupid instruments by putting acid. NI, acid, UI. Okay. NI is what? No index. It does not maintain any index. Key value store does not provide the asset properties such as atomicity, transaction consistency, and um, the asset properties, durability. That is not provided. Okay, that's a disadvantage. UI, U is the it maintains unique values. I is what it uh, cannot be performed uh, queries on the individual values. So, this is what you have to remember for the disadvantages. Okay, write about the NoSQL and write what is its uh, di diagrammatic representation. Write an example and write advantage, disadvantage, how much ever you can, and you can uh, easily get full marks. Okay. Moving on, we have the next super important question, which is explain CSV, JSON, and XML document store. What is a document store? A store which stores the document. That's simple. It's uh, where you will be storing a different type of contents, and you'll be having the features such as scalability, high performance, and reliability. And it is uh, having low complexity as compared to tabular object and graphs. Okay. So, what are the features you can go through it? It's very like. Um, tell some good things about it like it stores unstructured data it is uh, very faster it saves time it is very easily accessible it is reliable it is highly secure and so on okay even if it's not the just right you'll get marks csv and json file format csv means comma separated values i'll show you an example and tell json means you'll be storing in the form of like this okay between flower places you'll be having one key and you'll be having colon and some corresponding value key value column corresponding value like that we'll be having that kind is uh, that kind of storage is called json uh, storage and the full forms you can write comma separated values json is the javascript object notation and you can write something it is semi-structured unstructured and uh, structured it is very good it is hierarchical and storage is very faster and structured format and also on okay XML is extensible markup language, it's also another form of storage, that's all. And whatever you have written for the CSV JSON, write the same for this one as well. Okay. Now, uh, the main thing is you have to uh, focus more on the example and show in the answer script or example and explain what you have written. Okay. CSV means comma separated values. In comma separated values, we will be having some entities here, like for example, semester, subject, uh, code, subject name, and grade. These are separated by commas. These are the uh, first is the column names. Okay. These are the column names. After that, we have the uh, data values. Values. like for example one cs101 this is the semester this is the subject code this is the subject name this is the grade like that we'll be having for all the rows okay this kind of representation is called what comma separated values you have to represent this and explain no one what's what's happening here next json example in json we'll be having two flower braces in between that we'll be having all the entities see here this is the two flower braces in between we have all the entities entities means it will be also having in the form of key value pair count how much seven then comma next thing comma next thing comma next thing it can also have nested structures within that for example this is the manufacturer is the key and the value is itself of the JSON format like that also you can have <coughs> the final is the XML example this is called as XML here we have the root inside the root we have two branches and inside each branch we have values so the same thing goes A is the root and we have two branches branch 1 branch 2 inside the branches we have one value one value another value another value okay that was about the XML format moving on to the fourth super important question never to miss what is uh, the management of no SQL for the big data. How no SQL manages big data? Just have to write what all no SQL have and how it helps the big data. Big data solution needs terabytes and petabytes of data. It's a very big data. It needs to handle a large amount of data. For that, no SQL is very best because it does not uh, rely upon one structure. It can store many forms of structure in that because obviously big data means it will be having many structures. So all those structures will be stored easily in the no SQL. It's dropping the support for the database joins, storing the data differently on uh, uh, several distributed servers and uh, together as a cluster. All the data is stored together as a cluster, second point. And you can give some example like CouchDB, DynamoDB, MongoDB and Cassandra. It all follows the CAP theorem. CAP is nothing but consistency, availability and partition. It makes the data processing and transactions faster to scale and uh, easier to obtain. Okay, so these are the things you need to write first in the for the NoSQL uh, solution for big data. After that, you can write the characteristics. It's also 
also the same thing what you mentioned up it's just uh, in the same uh, another form like it is he uh, high and easily scalable it supports to replication you can have one data in different part of the systems distributable means you can store the data in different parts of the system access it from anywhere usage of NoSQL servers is very efficient because it stores all the data securely and you have the NoSQL uh, open source uh, tools which can be accessed by anyone and support to schemaless um, model it is schemaless means it does not conform to a specific schema whatever the data is it will be uh, stored as it is okay so it will um, scale uh, for more types of data to be stored in a single entity and you have integrated caching no inflexibility you can easily scale it more and make it more flexible and so on that are the key points you have to mention for the uh, how uh, uh, NoSQL manage big data just think in a good way how, uh, how NoSQL can help big data to uh, solve its existing problems okay just go through it once you'll get to know next super important question what is sn architecture sn architecture means shared nothing nothing is shared between two nodes that is only sn architecture this one only really you have to remember now the key points you have tried the columns of two tables relate by a relationship there are two col they are see this is the column one column two these two are related by a relationship between them right but in the sn architecture there will be different tables which are not related among each other and they uh, do not share the data they are independent and they can perform the uh, things on their own so uh, some of the features are independence self-healing you have to remember i send what i send what you'll remember i send i is independence s is self-healing e is each node is uh, functioning as a separate chart n is there is no network contention means there is no fight between the networks okay that's about the sn architecture you have to write these much points Moving on, we have this last super important question, which is about the MongoDB and Cassandra DB. Very, very important. What is MongoDB? What is Cassandra DB? What are the key points you need to write? Listen carefully. In MongoDB, you have to write it is an open source database management system. It creates, manages, and handles the databases. It also manages the document and the collection of the databases. Like start from the beginning, it creates the database, manages the database, inserts the data, modifies, appends, and deletes the data. The functions include the viewing, transacting, and changing, visualizing, running the transactions, and so on. You can think from your own what all the uh, operations you perform normally on an, uh, on any SQL thing. That all things are applicable for the MongoDB as well. And some of the good things about the MongoDB are it's non-relational, no SQL, distributed, open source document based it is cross platform you can work from multiple uh, platforms in between scalable means you can use it to a very large scale flexible index multi master and fault tolerant it does not uh, go into errors very frequently those are the uh, good things about the mongodb these are the things you have to write okay and features are also similar you just have to write what are the um, ways in which the mongodb can be utilized further like it has a server it has clients also okay mongodb is called the server and mongo is called the client okay client is the mongo and uh, server is the mongodb read it once you'll get to know then uh, some of the things like uh, collection these are all the just the good things about the mongodb collection store is stored document model is stored it holds different documents because it's flexible and open source and it uses the best bso and serialization format it uh, does the querying indexing real-time aggregation uh, things and it has the joins form uh, it does not have the joins format and it supports the dynamic queries and distributed database honestly don't uh, try to memorize these things you already uh, know after hearing this video only you have to uh, you got to know a uh, few of the key points like flexible no SQL collection of the uh, different types of data uses a BSON serialization format it uses querying indexing aggregation summarizing whatever you comes to your mind just write it down okay so that is uh, more important that you write more content okay Moving on in the same way, we have the Cassandra DB as well. This also does the same thing what the previous one does, just that you have to mention it is a column family database. Instead of open source database, we have column family database. It also handles massively data, including a structured, semi structured, unstructured data. All types of data is handled, whatever good things you mentioned for the uh, MongoDB. All are valid for the Cassandra DB as well. You can use, make use of the same thing. Features of Cassandra DB it maximizes the number of writes, maximizes data duplication. This also you need not uh, memorize because it's same see previous also did not have the uh, join query here also it does not support join like in big data it does, join query is not at all there okay group by clause aggregation it's not there and we have ordered key semi structured data and it is very flexible and it can read and write and handle by many other resources it is distributable uh, dis uh, distributable scalable and uh, functionable so all these things have to write it handles the high volume data this is all what is there in the module to make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one